Okay. <clears throat> this video is about adding a shared folder from guest host to guest, guest to host. Um, in Q Kimu, Kumu, Q E M U. I have no clue how to pronounce it. Um, anyways, I did a whole lot of searching. It was a real pain to find an easy method to do it, or even the difficult methods didn't even work. So I finally found the pieces I needed and put them together in this uh, document I wrote up. I'll put it in the description or it'll be in the first comment. And uh, now I'm, I'm going to be using the Debian 11 I installed in a previous video. I haven't really done anything else to it. I want to do this first because I have directions that help me to do everything else in a file. So here we go. The first thing we do, this is the host. The first thing we're going to do first thing we're going to do is these three commands on the host. Now obviously I've done them already because once you do them on your host you don't have to do them again. What I misspell. Yes, I did. So need to change the document Yeah, you ain't going to see anything there because it, it already has the ownership. And that's it. Uh, view, come on, edit. Okay, so we're going to view details, we're going to go down to add hardware, file system, mount, Squash. Uh, somewhere there's a thing that tells you what the different version things do. Uh, you can look that up if you really care. There's no write policy on this one. I'll, I'll leave it in the document in case 
it may be in older ones okay so sor source path make sure you get that spelled right with upper lowercase I'm going to use my host username my host and my guest username are the same but in case yours isn't this is the host username doesn't have to be public um, can, you can make your own folder you can call whatever you want you can call shared folder whatever you want so make sure you use it everywhere uh, public is what I use to share files between between systems um, from machine to machine so why not use it here it's not being used for anything else probably okay and I'm gonna finish and I'm gonna start the start it Okay, I have these two commands written in a text file I already put on here so I didn't have to retype and have typos and make you watch me type so slowly slow enough as it is um, I've said it before this is just happens with the cinnamon DE on a VM it doesn't happen on a bare metal machine it uh, doesn't happen, haven't seen it happen with other um, DEs. It's no big deal. I don't care. I'm not going to try and fix it. I'm not going to use this like a daily driver and need it to be like that. Okay, so. Alright, so we're going to start with this. Pretty quick. Now here, the username is the VM's username. So mine are the same, so therefore it's the same, but if you're using different ones from one to the other, uh, bad usage. Okay, let me pause the video for a second while I figure out what the hell I did wrong. Looks like I forgot this dash O. Okay, that should do it. Let's see what's in public. Shows it as shared, I guess that, that little thing is. And these are files on the host machine. There it is. Um, this is the easiest I could come up with. And that'll be it for today.